welcome back to the research world today we are going to discuss research proposal flowchart and this is a step by step guide so let's begin the first part is your introduction and you need to answer what why and how all the particular sections included in the introduction section of your chapter or of your proposal you need to answer the most important question that your whole research proposal is based on that is what is your research question then what is the summary of the proposal that in the introduction chapter you need to present a summary of your proposal so the answers to what why and how of each and every section of the introduction chapter the second chapter is or the second section is the literature review and you need to answer what is the literature on your topic the next is find a gap that is find a research from the literature review you are going to fill in this particular proposal after that you need to study the literature on the method that what method you are going to imply in your research proposal and you need to present a literature on the methods being applied in your research the next you need to discuss and present for the debates and the discussions on your particular topic and the last section in your literature review is the theoretical approach that you need to identify and you need to present a previous work on the theoretical approach being used on a particular discipline of our the uh, our a field of a study after the literature review the next portion of the section is the methodology and in methodology chapter you need to answer what is your research design and you need to answer what why are you following or adapting a, par a particular research design after the research design you need to present ethics statement that there are the ethical issues you need uh, to take care in the your uh, thesis then after the research design and the ethics statement there is the kind of data that what kind of data either the primary data or the secondary data you are using to use in your research project then you need to discuss on um, the collection procedures and you have to provide a valid justification for the different procedures you are going to collect you're going to use for the collection of the data and the last section of the part in the methodology chapter is your costs and funding that what will be the costs and what will be the sources up for the funding of a particular chapter of a particular research project in case there is everything available but there are issues with the funding so you cannot proceed your with your research proposal after the research methodology chapter you need to discuss the uh, preliminary data and you need to answer the word in this chapter so first you need to answer the uh, informs the methodology and the, provide the evidence of the importance in case of the preliminary data and then you need to present the preliminary findings in this particular section after the preliminary data uh, the next portion is you the statements of the limitations so in this particular uh, statement that is the statement of limitations you need to present what things are out of your scope are those factors are those elements which you are not going to discuss are involved in your particular study and you need to present a list of those limitations that the uh, further are the coming are uh, the new researchers can cover in their research projects this presents the alternatives that can be used by the future uh, by the researchers in the future in the coming days and finally the weaknesses you need to present what are the weaknesses of your research proposal and the final is the conclusion and this is not the conclusion of your research rather this is the conclusion about what will be the contribution of your research project and what will be the importance of this particular study you are going to 
you are going to conduct in the very coming days. So this is the flow chart of the research proposal you need to follow in order to have a good research topic. That is the, you need to follow these following steps, introduction, literature review, methodology, the preliminary data, the statement of limitations, and finally the conclusion. And you also have to keep in mind the different elements and the factors of the sections involved in the each chapter. And you need to answer the what, how, and why of each and every section. Hopefully, this particular video will help you out in preparing a best and excellent research proposal for your research project.